Hello again, this is Toby and welcome to today's fighting class. Okay, um today we'll be talking about the creator. So what's a decorator? A decorator is a fighting function that accepts a function or any other object as an argument, okay, and then allows us to add some functionality to it. So it basically allows us to modify or extend the behavior of an existing object without modifying its source code. So we can basically modify how a function or object will behave without tampering with the actual fighting source code for that object. I know that might sound a bit um abstract, so let's look at an example, okay? So I'm just going to navigate to VS Code. Okay. Um so the creators are actually functions, okay? But then we can do special things with them. So the creator is just a normal function. So the create a decorator we just define it like a normal function. Okay. But then as the arguments we're expecting them to pass us the object, okay? or function again okay, that we are accepting and then we can do whatever we want to do with that object so most times we use decorators and other functions okay so i'm going to change this to function because we expect it to be a function and because we're working with functions we have to return another function so basically we could return um a new function we define a function wrapper okay and we just return the execution of function okay so that's the internal um function we're returning then the decorator is going to return wrapper okay so what are we doing we accept the function when the decorator is invoked or created okay and then when we basically what we return back to the system to use is our new function our modified function okay so that's the wrapper so wrapper is going to return to the computer so anytime we call the newly modified function we're going to be calling wrapper instead of function now that might sound a little progress so let's take an example so we have a function mine okay that simply um takes a number again prints returns the square of that number okay so you can call it square i guess and number number okay we can basically decorate this with our decorator okay that's how you'd invoke a decorator with the ash with the add sign okay so add decorator which basically means the same thing as um square is equal to decorator square so it's the same thing actually this is a shorter form of writing it so this is equivalent to this okay and then this is how we write it in actual python because we are trying to conserve space and that respects best practice okay um so we have our function we want to let's say we want to print out for logging purposes we want to print out our argument okay so we are going to receive an argument number here so that's what this function takes and our wrapper function has to take the same or more number of arguments than our internal function okay so for setting the argument no number okay so i'm going to print um function was invoked with arguments number So it's basically going to is an example of string formatting. We're going to print that our function, okay, our function, and we get the name attribute of that function was invoked with argument number is equal to the number we called it, okay. And you can see we did not modify any of the source code for square root, so that's fine. So we're basically modifying the behavior without modifying the source code. So we go ahead and um, say. Um, square five, okay, and that will be our answer. We can print the answer as well, and we can go ahead to run this. So, I am in. Let me go ahead and copy this call part. Hit Python, run that call part. Okay, and we were missing an argument. 
So we took this function and we got this argument because we wrapped it basically, but we forgot to pass that argument to our function. Okay, so I'll pass that now. Um, awesome. So first of all, we get the normal output of our function, which is what the square of our number five, which is twenty-five here. But before any of that executes, our wrapper first of all modifies that behavior by printing out the argument. Okay, so our function square was invoked to the argument number five. Okay, so Fung dot done the name basically is going to return the name of the function we invoked. Okay, that's basically how functions work. But then, if we want to make it more um scalable or to be more flexible, to be able to work on more um functions or arguments, basically, what we could do is we could change this from a single argument to accept any number of arguments and then any number of keyword arguments. Okay, and we could just print the args or this and the quags as well okay and then we can return the function we just call the function with all the keyword arguments and normal arguments that we received okay positional arguments so we can return that and we still get the same output okay we get that the um positional arguments was one which is five and then keyword arguments were none and we just pass that down to square and we get our answer basically okay um so we've looked at how to define a pointing decorator let's talk about um fung tools that wraps okay so this is a utility in python that allows us to solve a basic issue that comes up when we wrap a function or modify that function okay so i'm going to just demonstrate the issue using the idea okay so say we have a wrapper here okay this is a decorator that takes in a function okay and then returns a new wrapper okay that has basically modified that function it just invokes the function prints out a bit of text and then returns the answer from that function we can redecorate this function mine okay and that's just any function okay it takes a number and returns the product of that number and eight okay so we multiply mine times 10 we get 80 and then we get the printout from our decorator okay but something we notice is that mine no longer looks like mine okay so if you do mine name you get a wrapper which is very wrong because this is now pointing to this guy mine has basically lost its identity because we wrapped him in a new function okay so it's like a totally new function as far as python is concerned and that's not what we want we want the function to maintain its previous identity okay so you should be able to know that it was mine okay so that that's its name it shouldn't lose its name so how do we do that we make use of the func tools from func tools import wraps utility okay and then we can basically rewrite this function okay i'm going to basically make use of our own the python inbuilt decorator wraps okay and what that just does is going to tell Python that hey, it should not remove the identity of the function we're wrapping. Okay, so it should maintain the previous function identity. So you can go ahead and change this, and we can run this again. Again, we can call mine mine dot name. Okay, so you can go ahead and call mine. I see that mine maintains its name basically. So it's been wrapped. So now Python knows it was wrapped, but it has an initial identity. Okay. And we can still go ahead and execute it. So 